Welcome back to another Elfster's Reloading 101 quick tip video on stainless steel cleaning. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean 100 pieces of once fired 5.56 Lake City brass and 50 pieces of 7.62 once fired Lake City brass. For those that own a Model B stainless steel tumbler for cleaning their brass, Please refer to my previous video on how to make this partition that allows you to clean two different types of brass at the same time. If you own a Model B tumbler, I highly recommend getting these knobs. It makes life a lot easier for you. And I will put a link to how to get these knobs in the video comment section. First things first, protect your drain. I can't stress this enough. Stainless steel pins obviously do not rust and the last thing you need is a stainless steel pin going down your drain and getting caught in your P-trap. Next, get some magnets. Now are they useful for picking up dropped stainless steel pins. But I also use the same magnets in my drain as a secondary precaution to make sure stainless steel pins cannot get down my drain. Get a timer for your tumbler. Look in the comment section of this video for a link to where I got mine from Amazon.com. The most important reason for getting a timer is getting consistent cleaning results. For example, on my first cleaning before I size, when I first get my brass, I'll clean it for one hour just to get the brass clean for my sizing process. Right after it's been sized to get the lube off, I'll clean it for another hour. Over cleaning your brass will only result in heavily peened case mouth openings. When I first started to use stainless steel media cleaning, I started out with five pounds. I recently switched over to nine pounds in order to get my brass as clean as possible and as fast as possible. The faster you can get this process done, the less peening you will have on your case mouth openings. Most important tip I can give you is do not overload your tumbler with too much brass. Doing so will only result in a dead tumbler. I typically reload in increments of 50. When it comes to large cartridges such as 308 or 6.5 Creedmoor, I try not to clean any more than 100 pieces. Small, smaller cartridges such as 223, you can typically go up to about 150 to 200 pieces. Any more than 200, and that's going to be way too much. When using this partition mod to save time and cut your cleaning time in half, I try not to go over, for example, 100 pieces of 5.56 brass on one side of the partition and 50 pieces of 7.62 brass on the other. For those reloading for 6.5 Creedmoor for the first time, or using stainless steel cleaning with 6.5 for the first time, you're eventually going to run into this nasty scenario, stuck pins in the case mouth opening. When buying stainless steel media, try to get pins that are 0.255 inches. You never know when you might reload for 6.5 Creedmoor where the bullet diameter is 0.264. Keep in mind that even with 0.255 inch pins, they still have a tolerance of 5%. That means you're still going to get some stuck pins in the case mouth openings of 6.5 Creedmoor. It's going to take approximately about 10 washes to call out the bad pins. Yeah, it sucks. And it'll take time to do it, but you'll eventually get there. I've never ran into stuck pins in the case mouth openings of 5.5 and 7.62 Lake City brass. But I can't stress the importance when done cleaning and ready to drop powder to always check inside your brass for pins. Before dropping powder, I always check inside my brass with a flashlight for loose pins. This measure twice cut once is always a good safety precaution. I usually wash my brass twice during the reloading process. 
During the first round of cleaning, right before the brass is sized when I first get it, I usually wash it for about one hour with Dawn only. It's not until the second round of cleaning, until the brass has been sized and is covered with lube, that I need to wash it again with both Dawn and Lemmy Shine. And keep an eye out for future videos taking you through this process from start to finish. Always clean your brass with hot water and rinse with cold water. Cleaning your brass with hot water will exponentially increase the cleaning time and will get your primer pockets as clean as possible. For the second cleaning, I'll use Lemmy Shine, about one teaspoonful. Fill up the tumbler about three quarters of the way, maybe a little bit less. Don't overload your tumbler with too much water and too much brass. Like I forewarned, if you overload it, it's gonna be one dead tumbler. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please subscribe for future videos. It'll take you through the reloading process of this very brass from start to finish.